It's your boy James over at Expert Go bring you guys the latest and greatest in this is Unite content. And today, uh, your boy is actually on location doing something, a project uh, for the city and a local group. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm here to provide you guys some details concerning a new event happening in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And it's something uh, they're going to be trying out to see uh, what you guys think. And these events are going to be spotlight events happening this week, back to back. And um, I'm super excited because um, they're trying something new, which I like I want to see them flex and get creative with events and this is a good step towards that direction uh, and I cannot wait to hear you guys feedback in regards to these events so without further ado let's dive right on into the details all right so early access to this information provided by WB games and Niantic so shout out and of course the infographics courtesy of orange wizard so the first spotlight event will be november 25th and that's going to be happening 11 a.m through 6 p.m your local time wherever you are in the world that's when it's going to start and it's going to be spotlighting the tonic for trace detection and with the tonic for trace detection during that window we're going to have an increased chance to encounter some good spawns um, speaking of spawns we're going to be able to see Dumbledore's portrait which the last time we saw him was a couple of months ago so that's very cool uh, then monster book of monsters and then the Niffler and the Omni Oculars again these are rare spawns not so much uh, valued spawns in regards to the flares but rare spawns nonetheless stuff a lot of people don't see uh, out and about so this is a great chance to take advantage of that if if you need these foundables and if you don't yo you can just chill and start preparing for wizarding weekend so again something to test out and see uh, the response engage uh, the reaction of the community speaking of reactions and feedback make sure I'm sure Sigan is going to be putting out um, a form for you guys to fill out please consider filling those out so we can get more insight into what you guys think about these events as they are happening um, make sure to follow us and our various forms of social media so you guys can be aware when these forms are going out um, so that's going to be the first one it's going to be spotlighting the tonic for trace detection the second one is going to be happening November 26 which is Thanksgiving in the United States and that's going to be spotlighting the night bus feature and uh, with the night bus feature in Tower chambers 5 forest chamber 5 and dark chamber 5 the Thunderbird puff skin and the wild boar again rare rare foundables that a lot of people don't see as much so i am again very excited about this and interested to see how the drop rates are going to work um, if they would apply to other things so um yo this is super clutch super like exciting and again if you don't need any of these foundables you can just chill and start getting ready again for the wizarding weekend happening the following day so um be sure if you are going to participate during this event send some feedback let them know your thoughts yeah, you liked it didn't like it things you might want to um add or uh, take away now I suggested things like uh, field guide drops increased uh, when you return some spawns that would be very clutch especially for those still working on their SOS skill tree even ministry manuals increase when placed uh, during that hour a lot of stuff they can play with during that window and I'm super excited again getting creative with these events and something that I think might be able to work in the future for all levels of players eventually. But yo, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about these two spotlight events? Do you like the direction they're going in regards to just trying something new? That's me, I enjoy that and I hope they continue trying things because that's what's going to make this game better. But yo, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, comment below, let me know. Let's talk some Harry Potter. Wizards Unite. But yo, I'm going to get out of here. I got to get back uh, to filming. Uh, they're rehearsing now and then I'm going to start filming in a little bit. Uh, but yo, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, if it was educational, informative, drop that like. Also, if you have not done so already, consider subscribing to Expecto Go. Here we get our latest and greatest, literally latest, uh, from WB and Niantic uh, in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Uh, gameplay tips, news, updates, vlogs, and live streams. So uh, definitely consider subscribing. Also, follow us on our various social media, Instagram, Twitter, and 
Facebook, alongside Discord, uh, if you have it. But yo, you guys take care of yourselves. Have a great holiday. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time. <laughs>